morning, friends. How are you today? My name is Miss Liz, and I am the Children's Director at Bay Lake United Methodist Church. And today we're going to talk about teamwork. Are you on a baseball team or a soccer team? Maybe a dance team or a field hockey team? Maybe even a cheerleading team? Well, being on a team is great. You get to make friends with kids that may not even go to your school, and you usually find out you have some things in common. Teams work together to achieve a goal. Usually that goal is to win, but it could also be to help one of your teammates feel better about themselves or improving a specific skill. Teams usually bring out the best in us. Did you know our church is a team? We have a goal that is to help more people follow Jesus and when we work together, we are able to help people learn about the love of Jesus. I think our church is the most important team to be on because when people find Jesus, their lives improve. With the help of the church, they can make better decisions, they can move away from sin, and they can love with their whole heart. Jesus loves teams. In fact, he created a very special team when he was here on earth. He traveled around with his disciples and his disciples were his students, and he taught them how to teach people about God and his love. Jesus depended on his disciples to spread God's love throughout the whole world. We hear in Matthew 28, Jesus tells his disciples, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you to the very end of the age. Jesus wanted more people on his team. You see, Jesus knew it was important to have a team that works together. If Jesus wanted to spread the word of God, of his love to everyone, if he wanted to do it only by himself, he would have done that. But instead, he assembles a team. Think of the team Avengers. They all have different skill sets and talents, and when they work together, they're unstoppable. Jesus knew that he wanted us on his team so we can use our talents to help other people learn about Jesus' love. We can be part of Jesus' team just by telling a friend about how much Jesus loves them or inviting them to church or telling them about a funny song you might have learned at church. These are all opportunities to spread the love of Jesus to everyone you meet and bring more people onto Jesus's team. And you know what? Jesus said that when we work together, he is there with us. In Matthew 18, 20, Jesus says, for where two or three gather in my name, there I am with them. So if Jesus is with us, who can be against us? Anytime you're working with a friend to help people learn about Jesus, or you're helping a friend learn about Jesus, Jesus is right there with you. So this week we have a task that we need to complete for our team. So October is Pastor Appreciation Month, and Pastor Clark is our pastor who leads our church. And he works really hard to make sure everyone on our team knows they are loved by God. And what we want to do is show our appreciation for him, which means we want to show that we're grateful or that we um, are thankful that he is our pastor at our church. So, and one of the ways we can show our appreciation is to color him a picture. I thought we could make him a meadow of flowers to show him our appreciation, but I need your help. I only have one flower to color, but in the email sent home to your parents, you got the same flower. So if we all color one flower, we will make him a beautiful meadow of flowers to show him that he is so important to us and he is part of our team. So I need everyone's help this week. I need you to color your flower and see if your parents can send me a picture of it or if they can drop it off at the church. And then we will make a meadow for Pastor Clark. What do you think? Will you help me make a meadow? 
I hope so. And I hope you are having a great week. I hope you're um, enjoying school. And if you um, are around on October 29th at 6 p.m., we are gonna have a fall festival. So make sure you ask your parents if you can come because it's gonna be a fun family event. I miss seeing you. I pray you are healthy and safe. I pray that God is with you every day and you know how loved you are by him and by Jesus. And that um, I will see you soon. God bless you. Bye.